Hi everyone, it's Eddie here at Eddie Makes Art. And today I want to do a little video on um, making this little booklet, I'm making an art book. Um, so this uh, Monday we watched a, um, a, I watched a stream from PM Artist Studio um, and it was hosted by Mariah and it was like Mariah Makes Monday. And um, they talked about um, art books and I, you know, I was like, oh yeah, I would totally do an art book. That's, you know, it's like, a, it's a journal. It's just a journal of your art. There doesn't have to be writing space in it. And I came across this today, cleaning, cleaning my mess. Um, this is a piece of cardboard. It's chipboard. Um, I think it was packaging from some, some food or something. Um, and I remembered, and I had, I, I did this gel print using a couple of their stencils this is a um a sh from a strip set and it's the aqueous effervescence and it comes in a set of six strips um different designs um that you can um make marks with and use in all sorts of different ways you can use them with like um uh medium the uh texture paste I can't find my words. Texture paste. And then these numbers are from Kerry Griffiths. He designed um, he designed several stencils and stamps for PM Artist Studio. And one of them is this one, and that is Scattered Numbers. It's a set of five clusters, and it's really cool. You got to check it out. Um, I use it a lot. I like it. And we're going to talk about stamps. Because what I decided to fill my book with, this little mini book, is a... A bunch of my brayer off sheets that I clean my brayer on, um, I had stamped on them. Some of them, this is just, this is a stencil, Raising Daisies, that's available too. Um, and so I said, let me just cut a bunch of these up to fit the book and um, can feature, you know, stamp and paint. So I thought we'd have a little fun and do these. Um, I'm going to show you the stamps and then, um, well, actually first what I want to do is I want to glue this, uh, insides to here and, uh, I picked out a couple things. Um, these are both on carnival paper. This is, um, rice paper. It doesn't make a difference. Uh, I just want to let you know. Uh, this one is the, um, gears and arrow stencil at PM Artist Studio. And the one I got is, um, I it was sent to me by Mariah to play around with. It's an IMPP, it's like, a, it comes out of the machine and it's not totally perfect so they don't send it out. It goes on the, you know, do not sell box. Um, but the ones you get will be, you know, absolutely perfect. Um, but I played around with it and I had, I made this fun print. It's got some golden yellow, so I thought I could use some of that in here. Um, I don't think it's big enough to cover that area, although, you know what, I'm wrong. I could cover the whole thing with that, and we can do some other stuff too. So why don't I go ahead and do that, and then while that dries, I'll talk about um, the stamps. Let's let that dry. Let's talk about some stamps. I have a little cheat sheet here because I tend to forget names um, because it's just, that's me. Okay. Uh, oh, let's start with these. So some of these, and I'm gonna separate them, are IMPP stamps. And the IMPP is imperfectly perfect. And that's what PM Artist Studio calls their um, 
like I was talking about the stencil where it comes out and it's not perfect. So do the same thing with the laser stamps. If it's not perfect to their high, to their you know standards, they put it in a mark on it and it goes into the um, do not sell box. Um, but Mariah, it was really cool to send them to me so I could play with and show them to you. Um, and really, I don't notice a huge difference. Um, so, you know, they're fun. They still make marks. They work. And that's that's all that's all we want. I'm going to pull my notes out here because I, won't, I don't want to get these wrong. Um, but I should tell you, this is PM Artist Studio. This is Mariah and Patricia. The P is Patricia, a former art teacher. Um, well, retired art teacher. And her daughter, Mariah. Um, they do live streams on YouTube three times a week. Um, and then this Monday, like I said, we did a, she did a special one. Um, Mariah did. And it was a lot of fun. Um, it's not going to be every Monday, but, you know, hopefully um, more often than not. Um, but definitely they do these three live streams and they're wonderful. Um, you learn a lot. You can laugh a lot. Um, there's a lot of tips and tricks and um, just, just a lot of arty, fun conversation um, and demonstrations and all sorts of great stuff. Um, and then um, I want to invite you to go onto their website, check them out. And if you make a purchase of $30 or more, um, you can use my personal discount to get 10% off your entire purchase. Um, and that disco, discount code is EddieFan. 10. Eddie's fan 10. Oh. You know, I knew that was the one thing I knew I'd get wrong. But I will put that into the description box below the video. I believe it's Eddie fan 10, all one word. And you would enter that, you know, at the end of your um, purchase in the checkout um, screen. Um, and while you're there shopping, you can definitely... Um, save even more money. And here's how. You can join uh, two of their uh, memberships. They are Mucky Muck, which gives you 15% off uh, their tools and art. And then the Loverly membership level that gives you 20% off all Artie's, Artie tools and art. And when you become a member of one of these, these levels, you get exclusive content like exclusive brand new stencils that are only available to members of these groups for eight weeks. After the first eight weeks, then it goes to the general public. Um, so if you're part of one of these um, groups, you will get access, early access to new products, whether it be uh, stencils or stamps or, or what have you. Um, so check them out, pmartiststudio.com. They have a, it's a brand new website. It's amazing. I was literally just on it right before I started this. And it's easy to, to, to maneuver, it, to search. There's, um, you can uh, save um, your favorites, like make a favorites list and a wish list. Um, you know, and when you um, are a member of one of these two levels, you get to you get your own dashboard. Um, so you get, you know, you can see your orders, you can see your wish list, you can see your um, uh, other stuff, you, you know, your your personal info and update that. So it's a lot of good perks. Okay, left out of the way. So these are, um, like I said, the IMPPs of these particular stamps. And I'm just gonna give you the names in case you're interested. So this one is the Spiral Swirl Leaf. And that's really cool. You can see it here in this sheet, how that looks. Right? And then we have um, the, doo -doo 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 -doo. I think it's on the back side, maybe. The Puzzle. This is Puzzle Stamp. Wait, is that the Puzzle Stamp? Yeah, Puzzle Stamp. And then this one is the Dancing Graffiti. And this one is Asemic Writing. And basically these are mark making foam stamps, you know, and they work with ink as well as acrylics. However, when you use acrylics, you gotta make sure you wash them right away. 
um, so they don't, because um, if the acrylic sticks to these, uh, they're done. Um, but they work really, really well. Um, so that's that one there. And then here you see um, the Moth Bee Collection. Or actually there's the Moth and then there's the Bees. Um, so this is the Deadhead Moth. Now these that are, this I'm showing you right now, these are um, purchased from the website directly and they are um, what you would get if you purchase this. So it's like, you know, perfectly um, um, cut. Um, this is the Deadhead, Death Head Moth. Excuse me, I'm going through allergies right now. Um, and this is, how big are you? I have this flipped over because the other side's a mess. So that's roughly about three and a quarter inches, almost four inches, three and three quarters, almost four. I'd say it's four. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's this one right here. And then you have, um, <clears throat> excuse me, a bumblebee. There is the bumble. You get these in a set. And they're um, honeybee, bumblebee, and the wasp. And these come in a set of three. And then this leaf is the funky leaf. And this comes in two sizes. There's this size and there's a larger one. Um, where do I have that on here? If I don't, we're going to use it. Because I have some pages that don't have stamps on them. Stamping on them. So we can use it. See, this is the, um, the puzzle, the dancing graffiti next to each other. These are other stamps. I, these are, and this one's my own. Um, and then this one is the cut deco or art deco circles. And they come in these, uh, they come in a set. And you get these four pieces. Right here. And they're wonderful. And I like to use them, um, I layer them to different sizes and you know just keep layering and layering and you get this really cool effect with the stamp. All right, and then we have All It Up Sparkles. This is a cool one. Now this comes in a large uh, stencil as well. Um, and that's a really good one. Here we are. I think I stamped this with like a pinkish, like a uh, the velvet distress ink. And these are available like this in a square. And they're, they're great. It's easy to get some good marks. Oh boy. Now this one's brand new. And this is, yeah, it's a skull. How cool is that? I believe there's three different designs of the skull. And of course I didn't write that down, but I just got this one. This is a three, there's three different designs. So we'll use this one today. Um, and then this is a poem designed, um, it's a script stamp. Um, it's not made to be read. You don't, you know, it's a mark making tool. And this is designed by the artist Froil. Um, and uh, it's, it's awesome. It also comes in a mask. So a large, you get a large Yupo mask of this and it's, really cool all right so what what do you do you know what i want to use this i haven't used this one yet so we'll do it on here it's kind of shimmery okay i'm gonna keep it simple and just use uh, black ink today. And now this is the first time using it, like I said, so I want to make sure I get a good cover. So I'm bringing the stamp or the, the ink to the stamp and going over it very well. I don't have those huge stamp pads like Julie Torrens with her gigantic stamp pads that I'm, I'm very envious of. Okay. Then I need a piece of foam, don't I? Get nice and cushiony. I hope this hasn't dried yet. We're about to find out, aren't we? And I usually hold it down for about five or six, six seconds. 
Yeah, it dried a little bit, but it, it's pretty good for the first time, first use. You know, sometimes you get like the silicone stamps and it takes forever to condition them and to get them right. So go with the foam. And they're not expensive. They really aren't. Um, and you can use my discount, duh. And you get another 10% off. And if it's on sale, you get that on top of my discount, I believe. And so your order must be at least $30. But trust me, once you get on the website, that's not hard to um, accomplish. All right, so we got that one there. Let's do another one. Should we do it over the stars? Here, let's do it on this. This is a little blank open spot here. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's so cool. I'm not looking for perfection today. I'm just going to have fun. I'm looking, um, I wanted to show you the stamps and how they work um, and give you my code, which I just got the code. So I wanted to share it with you and make sure that you guys knew that it's out there. Um, hmm. I want to do a skull on here. I'm just going to go skull crazy. Let's do a skull over the daisies. And this stencil is available on the website too. It's called Raising Daisies. It's one of my favorite. One of the first stencils I got from them. And it's still one of my favorites. Okay. Let me go right here. Now I have to remember these are getting folded in half. So I don't want to lose the face. Okay. Oh. Ho. Look at that, that's cool. Now certainly you can come back and you know we can do further embellishment. We could use some um, other stuff down here. For now we're just stamping and then I wanna put together the book. And then once that's put together, I can you know do whatever I want inside of it. But it's really just a showcase of different, you know, um, paints and colors and stamps and all cool stuff. Just a little book for myself to remind me of stuff I've done. And what other stamp do you want to see? Do you want to see this one? These work really well. I love that one. Okay. I'll go with this one and I'll start with the large. And then just come in a set of four and get these four pieces. And it's the Art Deco circle set. I'm just get right to the corner there. That's okay. It's not dark enough, but I think we can live with it. It's just this corner is dark with the blue and the green. But it's given us more interest than there was. That's for sure. Let's see if there's enough ink. I think these hold the ink well, I've noticed. Yeah, so it's not like super impression, but it does hold the ink well. And this is just a first layer, and then I'm just going to keep going and adding with the different sizes. I love that skull. It's so good, isn't it? And there are three designs of that. I should have gotten all three. That would have been perfect, but maybe closer to Halloween. I mean, they're not just for Halloween, but, you know, just the season. Yeah, this one's going to be hard to see. I'm just going over it. You can come in with some Posca pens. You could do uh, gel pens. I have some of the, I have the white, silver, and, and gold I use sometimes. No. See, on this side, it's going to be something different. This has to be something else or just left like that. 
<clears throat> oh, here we go. I was looking for some of the blank ones. Let me show you this off. Show you the stamp on the white, which is, you, know, you see it better. And let's just go right in the middle. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And then we can go up here. And then down here. I just, I, I, you know, it's just fun. It's fun stamping. What'd you do Saturday night? I stayed home and I stamped. That's what you're talking Okay, and then maybe we'll do this one at an angle. Let's see. It's fun to play with them too, like these kinds of geometric ones. Just the way you overlay them on each other. Cool, huh? Here, let's try some of the smaller ones. Maybe this little, this guy here. You can put him in the middle. Yeah, they can overlap, why not? Maybe we can do, yeah, let's still we'll do the corners. So there you go, it's easy. It's fun, you jazz up a, a, a photo, a, a print or, you know, just a blank piece of paper. I like to do stamping um, in my journal pages and um, give them interest that way. And then we have, can I show you this one? Yeah, well you saw that one on there. How about the leaf? Let's do the funky leaf. You can do it on this side here. I give this one a little extra attention just because sometimes um, I miss a little of the details in there. I've noticed myself, so I make sure I get it nice and nice and inked up. Very nice. A little staggering. I don't mean the Saturday night after the bar staggering. I mean, you know, arty staggering. Okay, now this side. This can be very relaxing too. Just put some tunes on, zone out, and stamp your heart away. And the great things about the great thing about these two is they um, they're they're lightweight. They're easy to store, so I keep them in these little containers. I know Patricia at PM Artist Studio. She has these large plastic tubs there but they're they're not super deep and they're perfect for a couple of layers of the stamps um and um i thought that was a great idea i only have these little ones but i don't have as many stamps as as queen p has you know she's got the inside connection and see just like that you got a, a beautiful piece of pattern paper you know and you could even come in Let's see, just grab a couple of pencils here, it's some colored pencils. Right, let's see. These aren't the best, these are like super cheapo ones. Um, yeah, come in. Do the little coloring.
I'm gonna do more green. How about the leaf? But yeah, so you can definitely have a good time with these and get super creative. I highly encourage you to check out the live streams of PM Artist Studio on YouTube. Um, like I was saying before, they're a lot of fun, um, but they're super informative. They are um, sometimes touching. They are definitely funny. And um, it's just a super, super good arty community that, that I found by accident. Um, and I love them. They're great. It's it's fun. We post our art, and we can enjoy other people's art. And there's people in this group from all over the world. And it's uh, PM Artist Studio on Facebook, and the group is called Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artists. So check out that group. I'll link it below. There's a couple of questions that you have to answer before you are allowed into the group. Very easy. And um, once you're in there, there's um, all kinds of things that we do. Like uh, we do different prompts every month. Um, we do video hops uh, with our YouTube um, members. And what else do we do? And we just post things that we just post our art. And, you know, it's there for everybody to appreciate and support. Um, a lot of idea exchanges and that sort of thing. It's it's fun. I should have been coloring this while I was talking, but you know, apparently I can't handle two things at once. Now this is something that would be super cool. Okay, so if you have your little kitties coming over, like you know your grandkids, or if. You got the kids in the house, maybe it's raining out, and you just want to give them a little activity. Have these pages stamped up. Have pages of paper stamped up like this. And then give the kids some markers and pencils and let them have at it. They can make up, you know, do their own coloring. And it's a lot more economical than a coloring book although there's nothing wrong with those but if you're buying the stamps to use in your artwork you know you got them use them for other stuff I'm always I'm a big fan of um, getting kids especially when they're younger um, doing art you know my nephew would come in and said deal can we paint and he'd be really quiet because his father would be like, no, you get dirty. I didn't care. I threw an old t-shirt of mine on him over his clothes, give him some paints, and he would go to town, get it everywhere on, you know, on this table, but he had a blast. I, I saved them um, because I want to, you know, when he grows up, I want to show him, hey, look, you did this. Do you remember? I think that would be a lot of fun. See, so you can do a lot. You can have a lot of fun. You can even paint the background, color the background if you want, and make it really interesting. You know, take your time, get in there. Create a little shadow. But another great idea, right? All right, let's see what pages still need some stamping on. Them. We can do some stamping on the back here. Hmm. Let's do the honeybee. Is this the honeybee or the bumblebee? I think that's the, the bumbler. Dark. 
Now, I do have white ink. I just, I don't want to deal with it right now. Um, to be honest with you. But yeah, you could, you know, if you have darker painted pages, certainly go for something like that. But look how well they print or stamp. It's pretty good. Pretty good, right? Okay. There we go. Just some fun little marks. I'll look back on this one day and say, oh, I remember when I made that on video. If video still, still exists back then or, you know, in the future, maybe it'll be something else. Who knows? I'm part of the generation that grew up with um, telephones on the cord attached to the wall. Only home phones, no computer, no Google, nothing like that. Um, no personal phones. It was just your landline, and that was it. Uh, and if your mother or your, you know, was on the phone, especially mine, she loved talking on the phone. No one's getting through because they didn't want to pay for call waiting. That's how it was here. Anyway, yeah, so. I grew up with all that stuff, but I grew up with it too. So I've, you know, I've seen it all. It's pretty amazing in my lifetime how much has been um, has been done in, in technology. It's wonderful. Let's do the moth. Where's my? Oh, here it is. I like this moth. It's a big one. And it doesn't fit my stamp pad, you know. Thanks, Julie. She gave me stamp pad envy. Dead center. Which would be cool, because when, you know, you'll have half on one side of the book and the other half on the other side of the book. Uh, silly boy, you gotta use your phone. There we go. Although you see, it, it stamps pretty well without the phone. I just like the phone better. Um, let's just get a better, I think I get a better stamp. Okay, I'll do this side. So, you know, I'm just making, you know, like a pattern paper. And then come in and fill these little spots. We could do, what do I have? Use those. Could do this funky leaf. This is the um, spiral swirl leaf. It comes in a three inch and a four inch stamp. Um, you can buy them each separately, or you can buy them as a set. And this is one of her, uh, Patricia's uh, IMPP stencils. Um, so it's not like 100% perfect. But like I said, I don't see a difference, but the designer does. And that's what's important. And they send you out the best quality product. They really do, and they have great packaging. They use a lot of um, eco-friendly packaging, which is great. Get her in there, get her in there. I could totally see myself coming back after this is in the book and just coloring it every so often, just jump in there coloring, color in it. Look at that. All right, so you've seen a skull. Should we do this one? I want you to see that one. I think it's a really cool one. And that is by um, Froyle. Froyle Art. And a lot of you probably know her from her amazing YouTube videos. She's so great. I wish I had her, Oof, her zest. 
she's somebody that I will go and watch because right away she gets me in like this super pumped up happy mood and it's some days it's much needed and so Froyle if you're watching you probably won't but if you do I really appreciate you and your energy your love for art and and beautiful things and for peaceful things and just you know gorgeousness thank you oops i think i pressed too hard okay give this one a, just an extra second how cool is that let me do something up here what if we did uh, some graffiti? Dancing graffiti. I don't know if you can hear them, but my brother and his buddies are watching some game. I don't know. And um, they're hooting and hollering back there. On the side of the house, but it's so they're so loud I can hear them on this side. Like my brother has the east wing, I have the west wing. Ooh, but he is loud. Cool. All right. So I think the next thing we'll do is I'm going to organize these um, in a way that I think will be good. And then um, we'll come back and sew it all in. Our book. I'm gonna call it my stamp book. So just a piece of packaging, some tissue, some paint, and you got a cute little book here. Now sometimes you take your bone folder, go like that, and it'll lay a little flatter for you. 
I'm not going to hurt the pages. Oh, see? Now I'm on a little personal coloring book. And there's just different glimpses of, you know, color combinations and, you know, all sorts of stuff that I've done. He left myself a blank page there. Got my little skull buddy. See? All kinds of fun. So I hope you enjoy this. I definitely will work on it. I'll probably just trim that a little bit. But like I said, this is just for me. Something fun. Um, something as like a little memory keeper. Um, and some awesome stamps. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And please go to pmartistudio.com and use my personal discount, Eddie Fan 10 And um, that all will be in the description. You get 10% off your purchase of $30 or more. And um, that is including, I believe, sale prices. And they have some good sales. They have a wonderful, wonderful selection. So definitely go check them out. And um, I will leave all the information in the description box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys very soon.